there, this is Amanda Wilkinson from Amanda Wilkinson Tarot. It is Friday, August 20th, 2021. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. Stay a bit. If you are a long-term subscriber, I thank you for your continued support. I do really appreciate it. If you're watching me on Facebook, if you could go to my YouTube channel at Tarot and like, share, and subscribe, that would be fantastic. I thank you in advance. If you would like a personal reading, please message me and we will discuss the details. How's everybody doing today, this morning? I hope you're all doing great. Hope you are taking care of yourself and the people around you and vice versa. And always remember, you are beautiful, you are gorgeous, and you have that beautiful star shining bright inside of you. This is a general reading. It will not resonate with everyone. Take what does and leave the rest. And there is no gender in tarot. Not taking those cards too many, and I'm not ready. Let's cut the deck for the collective. Spirit. I will be continuing to do um, general readings on Instagram and Facebook. Just letting you know. First card out. The Seven of Swords. Seven of Swords. I do not like this person. I do not. Seven of Swords is a sneaky person. This is a toxic individual. He or she is a narcissist, full-blown, a liar, a cheater, a thief. Just a general, all-around, not very nice person. If you have this person in your life, I suggest, even though I shouldn't be saying this, I suggest cutting them out sooner rather than later. Because they will only end up hurting you. What is crossing this? Ten of Swords. Okay, well, good. You're cutting them out of your life. Ten of Swords. Swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ten of Swords means the end of, end of a very, very painful cycle. So, good. You've gotten rid of Seven of Swords. Yeah, I know it hurts right now, but you have done the best thing for yourself and for the people around you. Actually, you're probably worried about you. What is consciously known? Three of Cups, maybe third party. I got a three. This could mean happiness, joy, bliss, a reunion, but considering we have... Sneaky here and the end of a painful cycle, I will say that I do believe this is a third party situation. What is unconsciously known? The Hierophant. You were expecting um, a higher level of commitment with this person. I'll leave it at that. Recent past. The Lovers. So you thought this was your person, and apparently it is not. Near future, give me something good. Page of Swords, he or she is watching you, but I say, move on, let them watch you. I'll probably delete this video. Swords are air energy again. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Where do you find yourself? Nine of Pentacles. All right. You're happy being single. I don't blame you. After dealing with Sneaky. Pentacles are Earth Energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Nine of Pentacles means that you are independent. You make your own money. You know how to budget. Um, you're single because you want to be single. And I don't blame you after what you've been dealing with. External influences, judgment, 
So you are getting positive karma, and I would say sneaky is getting some negative karma. I feel like this looks like um, someone is casting a Patronus, a la Harry Potter. But things are getting better for you now that you've left this behind. Let them watch. Move on. Move on. Be happy. You can be single for a minute. Get over this. Hopes and or fears. Oh, we have the king of love. Maybe someone better is coming in your direction. Cups are water energy. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. The king of love. Loving, caring, compassionate. Uh, nurturer. A good partner. A good parent. The king of love. Beautiful. Overall outcome. Five of Cups. Okay, well, being pessimistic, not wanting to take another chance, um, spilling water in this looking like sinkhole, and that's fine. You need a minute to get over this. I completely understand. Cups are water energy. Can't space you, Scorpio. Bottom of the deck, Three of Pentacles. Oh, well, you're working on your job. Making your money. I don't blame you. Again, I got two threes with sneaky and, and, and painful cycle. Third party situation. Queen of Pentacles. We got the Queen of Money here. I believe this is probably you with the Nine of Pentacles and the Queen of Pentacles. Queen or King, remember, you are working on your money. This is a confident, self-assured business person. Um, as I said, makes her own money, knows how to budget, um, concentrating just on work. Beautiful. Eight of Swords, you got yourself in mentally mind-fucked. You're painting yourself into a corner. Swords are air energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. As you can see, she's not blindfolded. She is not bound at the wrist, wrists, but she is seeing herself that way. But you do not have to get stuck in Eight of Swords. All you have to do is take your blindfold off, cut the bindings on your wrist, and move on. Oh, Nine of Cups. Nine of Cups. You are quite... You are getting used to being on your own. You are living at a higher vibration. You are single right now because you know you deserve someone great in your life. Now, when you're living at this vibration, you could be attracting somebody that is worth your attention. Nine of Cups. Water energy. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Here we are. Single because you want to be single. Nine of Pentacles and Nine of Cups. Single because you know you deserve someone great in your life and you're willing to wait for it. When you're when you're vibrating he, at this uh, level, you will be attracting more positive people into your life. Four of Pentacles. You are watching your money. Um... Taking care of your money. Pentacles are earth energy. Oh, I don't know if I said this. Cups are water energy. Can't spice Scorpio. Pentacles are earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Taking care of your money. Budgeting. Taking care of your money. Budgeting. I like it. I like it. I do. Well, this reading sure went from not great to very good. So, yeah, let them watch because you are happy being single. King of Cups may be coming into your life. Life. Ground and balance, stable business person. 
living at nine of cups energy oracle card the answers you need are coming full moon in gemini Don't let your past hold you back. Self node. Don't let don't let this hold you back. Don't let we all have relationships that we think are going to go somewhere and want to be single for a mo minute, but don't let your past hold you back. Good things are coming. Bottom of the deck. A fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. Well, it looks like you're starting to get over this situation. Of course, ten of ten of swords. You are this is the very this is the end of a very, very painful cycle, and a new cycle is starting. I like it. I like it. Leave the past in the past. Open yourself up. To find someone that deserves you. All right. I guess I will leave this read because it ended up being very, very positive. I like it. I like it for you. This has been Amanda Wilson of Amanda Wilkinson Tarot. Have a great day, and I will see you tomorrow. I will be doing um, Libra to Pisces uh, on the last general readings on this channel. And I will be posting um, a new Aries 2 Virgo read on my YouTube channel, Amanda Wilkinson Tarot. See you there. Bye.